I've always wanted to do that anyway. Today I'm gonna show you how I made this cover for full. Wow, that was a bop. So just to preface this, this was the first cover I got where the client asked me to use AI art. And I think it went as well as it could have been. Essentially, they just wanted to say like, hey, here's some ideas, I used AI art. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this is matching up my description of what I want. They kind of had already used the AI art to give them an idea of what they wanted. So once they sent that over, it really did help close the gap on the back and forth of like, what do you want? What do you mean? On one hand, I appreciate that. On the other hand, you want to have that transparency with the client. If they're asking you to use AI art, you know, ask to like what degree if they're looking to save a buck or not. And that's really just the discussion you're going to have to have with your client if that time comes. Uh, on the other side, you know, I've seen past clients of mine, I guess you could say, or people I've worked with use AI artwork in replace of hiring an artist to make like, you know, album artwork. You know, in those cases, I can kind of understand it as well, because if you've ever hired an artist, you can kind of have a new appreciation for what it's like to be on the other end of that. So if you're an artist, I recommend maybe like hiring an artist to do something like have them help you with a piece or, or hire them exclusively to make something you can't make and just kind of go through that process. And you'll kind of see that, you know, it is a little bit nerve wracking to hire an artist and have, you know, to not be sure if they're going to give you what you want but then know that you have to pay them for whatever they give you. Right here at this part, I forgot to mention that sometimes budget is what can keep a client from hiring an artist. Not every client that you feel should be hiring you might have the money or the time to pay you the rate that you want to give you the time that you want. Before I charge them anything, we I go through a conversation, a deep conversation of like, what do you want? How do you want it done? Like, is this kind of what you're saying? And I make sure I understand fully what they want and maybe even ask them to go find reference, go make a Pinterest board or something like that. You know, if the client is using AI tools in that way to kind of help them get their idea closer to what they want and then have the artist kind of like take it from that point, create sketches and then create the final. I think that's a happy medium. I think that's a, that's a way forward. But uh, in terms of, you know, AI taking your job and stuff like that, um, I don't know. I think it's a separate, whole separate discussion, a whole separate video maybe. But let's jump straight into the cover artwork. All right. When Fool first approached me, they were like, this is kind of what I got from the AI generator. This is what I, this is the kind of vibe I'm going for. And instantly I knew I've done something like this before. So many years ago, I worked on two board games called Entropy. And for one of them, there was this really wide panorama that I did. It was a bunch of cards you can put next to each other. And it was like, Pretty much the same you know aesthetic the same style so going off of that i knew exactly you know how to handle this one and the other thing was i asked them let me let me try using the ai artwork to make these two dragons fighting because one of the things that they wanted was the character this uh kind of like setting and then two dragons fighting because this was a whole release with rocket league and da -da -da -da. i was like okay let me see how the ai art thing can do two dragons in the air fighting fire and ice dragons fighting kind of like dragon ball z style like snake dragons so this is what i got not exactly what i was thinking and it honestly makes me a little uncomfortable at least it was uh i'm glad i tried it here's the sketch concept idea that they got from the ai gen that really inspired the look for this cover. And I just went from that. I took that, separated the character, separated the background, and then went to town to clean up and polish the background to have it make sense. So that was the first part. And the second part was to take the character and clean them up, make the armor make sense. And it's supposed to be a little bit sci-fi, a little bit of traditional armor, just make it fit into the image more and then get the dragons in there. Start cleaning up the background, add the sun, make it crack. That was a little like, a uh, very specific detail that they wanted. Uh, start bringing in the environment. And then these are the dragons I got from the sketch. So for the shape and for the texture and for the color, I used Blender. So in Blender, here's what I've got. And so what I did was I kind of gave them, I made these splines, made them a little bit thicker so that, you know, they have this like snake body. I put a leather texture over top and I only needed the normal information and some of the color so that you can, you know, capture those bumps and they're really glossy and shiny so that they capture the light and get this really nice rim lighting on it because the background is this sunset. And then I added two area lights pointing at the face of it, you know, a, a red for fire and then a blue for uh, for ice. And uh, then I just kind of positioned it the way I wanted, something like this, added some subsurface scattering to the skin, you know, looks good, looks real. Just exported that, brought that directly into Photoshop and just started like working on top of that. 
So push the back a little, added some of that VFX, give it a bit of dreamy vibe, add a bunch of bloom. Then I bring in the main character, our boy Fool here. So in this one, as you can tell in the original like AI gen, it was like the aesthetic was there, the shape was there. But even when you take AI artwork and you like upscale it and add detail, it doesn't really have like, it just kind of adds a detail, but it doesn't know why, there's no reason to it, there's no patterning, things like that. It just kind of goes off of what's already there. And I guess I kind of did that a little bit too, but I added my own like design to it. So I, I started seeing some shapes and being like, all right, that can be a little chest piece. You know, that's where the that's where the shoulder piece starts and that's where it ends. And it was all just giving it enough information so that it made sense at first glance. So, and then after that, just adding a bunch of fog and haze and color correction to kind of like unify everything together. And then last but not least, well, yeah, last but not least, and you've seen me do this before in other drawings and other illustrations is just kind of add some grunge, add some texture, add some chromatic aberration and uh, noise. Noise does a great thing at like taking the digital painting and like evening it out, flattening out like all the overly digital brush strokes and brush shapes and things like that. Anyway, I also made a 4K wallpaper based off of this cover. I just kind of ex expanded the sides and I'll have a link to that in the description where you can just download that for free. It's all yours. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.